Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are doing well and welcome to another Apex Legends Bot to God Advanced Guide. Now this is what I'm going to call my guide series that where I help you get from bot to become a god. Even if you're an average player, you can still get to a god. So that's what I'm going to call this series and welcome to this again. And today, today's guide is about how to grapple like a god. So I'm going to tip you like five, six tips in which you will learn or other advanced grapple movement techniques, including the zip line that you can do as Pathfinders and play like God. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing is grapple jump. Fairly simple, very easy to do. Go into the training range, do this for five minutes, and you are gonna grapple jump like God. All you have to do when your grapple is ready, just point it towards the surface, a flat surface, the ground, and shoot it. And as soon as it connects the ground, you hear that slight Ting or some kind of sound, that slight sound. As soon as it touches the ground, just uh, hit your jump button, your space bar, your scroll wheel, or whatever button you have assigned for jump on your controller. As soon as it hits the ground, just press the jump and you'll see you'll go straight flying off. And also do hold your forward key. Sometimes it might glitch out. That's it. That's all you need to do for grapple jump. Fairly simple technique. So another one somewhere related to grapple jump is how to launch yourself upwards so the beginning is pretty much the same you grapple like absolutely in front of you and as soon as it connects now it's going to connect a little faster so as soon as it connects you hit jump so you go straight up and you're still connected to the grapple so you'll actually swing ahead so to cancel that just hit crouch so it'll just cancel your grapple and you'll just go straight up and then you can pounce on an enemy it's a very very effective stat to do when you're in mid gunfights and you can just take your enemy by surprise. All right, next thing you can do is basically swing and slingshot in a couple of different ways. Now the basics of swinging and slingshotting is, is still the point which you have grappled to is in your viewpoint, like you can see it at least at the corner of your screen, your grapple is gonna stay connected. As soon as that point is out of your viewpoint and a little bit further, the grappler is going to disconnect. So if you always keep it in your viewpoint, you can actually go circles around one particular object like this and like how the crypto glitch used to work. What you can do with this is that if you have a structure overhead, like a bridge or something, you can grapple onto it and you can swing ahead. What else you can do is if you have a structure overhead, maybe a bridge or even a taller, like a building, you can grapple onto the top of it or even somewhere towards the top you can slingshot yourself up and if you keep moving and try and uh, practice this you'll actually be able to slingshot yourself over above and over the building and probably go to the other side or jump to the roof and come from slightly higher angle onto the enemy now other than that if you have like a vertical structure like a pole or even the side of a building if you practice and time yourself carefully and keep the point of grapple in your viewpoint, you can actually also slingshot yourself very far. Now you must have seen Daltu's grapple. If you have seen, he does pretty much the basics of that is this. He slingshots himself by keeping the uh, grapple point in the viewpoint. Now it's a very difficult and very high uh, play, but you can still practice slingshotting yourself. Now you can also use the swinging technique if you're trying to run from players or even if you're in mid gunfight and use it to swing around a surface. Now you can see that there are three, four gun stacks or gun, like whatever that thing is called <laughs> over there. And if you try and grapple and practice, you can actually swing around that and quickly change position or let's quickly rotate around something much quicker than any other legend can. And this can give you a significant advantage when you're either trying to run away from someone or in middle gunfight and you do the strat, it's just going to confuse the enemy. You're going to get a better angle, probably just go around behind them if they were actually chasing you and then you can beam them from behind. All right, guys, now the last two is about how to use zip lines: One, to push enemies and two, how to get away from enemies. All right, so let's talk about pushing enemies first. So do not try and zip line on a rooftop where your enemies are there from like a less steeper angle if you have less steeper angle and you're trying to zip line from a little distance they're going to hear you coming you're going to not be able to jump on the zip line because they removed it from the game i don't know why it was such a good strat and they're going to have a clear line of sight they're going to laser you you're going to die 
your next teammate is going to also get lasered. He's also going to die. You're going to lose the gunfight. Instead, what you want to do is try and get closer to the building. Once you're closer to the building, you can have a much steeper angle, an angle which the enemies cannot clearly see. And remember, it's difficult to shoot straight down always. It just messes you up. So you can avoid getting lasered. You can come up much quicker because the zipline length is going to be short and much steeper. And also, once you reach the end of the zipline, you get a slight jump boost. That's by default. But you can also press but you can also press your jump key to get that jump boost and just get a little bit height off. And they're not going to expect you to jump necessarily, so you're going to get a boost up and get a slight advantage over them. Now, how to escape. Now, if you are lucky enough to have two zip lines, you can actually bounce between two zip lines like you could do before on a single zip line. So if you're on one zip line, just bounce and latch onto the next one and then bounce and latch onto the first one. But that is an extreme luck scenario. And that's pretty much not possible when you're actually trying to escape from gunfights. It's just more of a fun strat. You can set it up, say, in fragment and you can just go front and back while other enemies come and th try and third party you. So that's where it can work. But other than that, I think you have only two jumps that you can do on a zip line. I might be wrong, it might just be one, but I'm pretty sure it's two. So what you want to do is when you're trying to get away from enemies, try and put the zip line in an angle where the enemies will have a difficult line of sight. Also, you have two jumps, time them extremely carefully, just have an idea of when do you think the enemy is going to try and shoot you. Or if they take the first shot and you are hit, just take your jump. Just don't wait. There's no better time to take your jump other than the time when you're getting shot. Just do that. And that's the best you can do right now to escape on a zip line. Honestly, it's kind of not a very good thing that they removed that jump. But I guess it's okay. It happens. It's Apex Legends. All right. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I was helpful to you in some or the other way. Hopefully, you guys can grapple like a god now. So this is going to be my new advanced guide or advanced tip series where you go from a bot to a god. I have been making a lot of guides lately and, and all of these are also going to be a part of the same advanced guide. So if you guys do like this, please consider hitting that like button and also consider subscribing to get access to more bot guide advanced series. So if there is any other guides you would like me to make for this advanced series or if there's anything you want to learn, if there's anything you want to talk about other than that, please let me know down in the comment sections. Feel free to voice your opinion. It's deeply appreciated here. And as always, a huge thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.